What's going on guys, it's Michael here from GBU. We are back again with another Custom Blaster video. This time around, I have something that is rather new to the gel ball industry, this particular style of blaster anyway, I should say. Now, we have had the liberty of getting our hands on one of the new Aztec Chimera receivers for the ARP9. Now, at the start, I was a bit off the receiver, if that's my honest opinion. Um, I just didn't like the way it looked at the front. But after putting this thing together, it's completely changed my mind. But again, as I said, here we have the Chimera ARP9 HPA, guys. So this isn't just an AEG, this is a HPA setup. So it is running the Polestar Jack V2 engine inside of this thing. So guys, we'll start at the front and we'll make our way back. So on the front, we do have a Noveski Flaming Pig tucked in inside. It's a Razorex Hopper. As we make our way back, we have the Battle Arms Defense silver outer barrel we have an slr aluminium handguard we have the little aluminium finger grip just here then again working our way back we do have a chimera receiver from aztec innovation which this one in particular as i said is the arp9 version fully skeletonized inside of this we do have the new aztec t-piece which does go with the arp magazine so if you are using this it would be an xyl magazine like so then again moving on we have the jack which is planted inside there. Then also we have the Aztec Scythe gearbox. Now it is a little bit of a different color, which is cool because it makes everything pop, which is amazing. Then on the way back, we have a stubby M16 stock. We have an Amoeba grip, we have a standard IGL, and then we have the new GBU curved speed trigger. Now the attention to detail on these receivers is absolutely next level in my opinion. So this is 7075 aluminium. Likewise with the gearbox, it is ultra, ultra lightweight this thing, that's for sure. So again, as I was saying um, at the start, I kind of wasn't a fan of the chunkiness at the front here, just because the rest of the receiver is so skeletonized and then there was that so again, at the start, before I even built this thing, I was like, oh, what am I going to do? I started questioning, like, do I go a speed cannon? Do I not? What do I do? So I ended up just biting the bullet. I went the SLR route with the handguard, the Battleworks defense out of barrel, just to kind of go with the T-piece and the color of the trigger. That's why I went the silver out of barrel, which in the end, I think it actually tied together quite nicely. And I actually really liked this build, to be honest. So it's definitely one of my favorite ARP HPAs that I've ever done, um, which is a big thing because I've built a lot of blasters. Um, so to try and outdo myself personally, mentally that is, that's not being cocky or trying to put myself above others or other techs or whatever. It's more so a mental thing for myself. Um, again, as I said, I've built a lot and it's very hard to outdo kind of what I've done within myself. Um, but this definitely takes the cake. Super, super happy with this. And I honestly don't think this is going to last long on the website at all. Um, it's completely different. I haven't seen a HPA ARP9 shell just yet. I've seen that Azrael's have done a couple of AEGs, but I haven't seen a HPA. So I'm actually keen to know if this is the first HPA in the Chimera um, ARP9 shell. So it's pretty cool. But other than that, guys, we're gonna head over to the firing range. We're gonna give this thing a couple of slaps. We'll see how it performs. Keep in mind, the hop up has not been tuned, so I don't wanna see any comments going, it's inaccurate, whatever, right? So it is untuned. But we'll go over, we'll give it a couple of shots anyway. We'll see how she performs and we'll be right back. Here we go, guys, we've got our ARP. We'll get a couple of shots and we'll see how she goes. So we've got semi. Auto. So there we go, guys. As you can see for an untuned hop up, this thing is actually pretty accurate. I was actually quite surprised on how straight it was shooting, being untuned. So with a couple of minor adjustments with the hop up, I guarantee this thing is going to be absolutely laser and it will dominate most people on the field. So whether you're playing Speaky B, Speedball, or if you're playing CQB, Milsom, tie up to you. Like I'd rock this in Milsom, like I couldn't care less. Um, that'd, I'd be that person out there with a purple blaster where everyone else is tacked up with your tan stuff. I'd be there doing this. So again, guys, if this is something that you'd like, come on down and see us at 7 slash 18 Bailey Crescent in Southport on the Gold Coast, or it is online right now as I speak. Peace out.